Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I am presenting a paper on city bus. My topic is role of MRI in detecting avascular necrosis. Myself, Dr. Tarun Sagal. I am from MJ Medical College, Aurangabad. Introduction of the topic. Uh, COVID-19, it was caused by SARS-CoV-2 is the reason of the current pandemic. Since the pandemic outbreak, people are being killed due to the virus. Many medications have been used, including various antivirus, angiotensin receptor blockers, corticosteroids for the treatment of COVID-19. Although many patients are recovering from COVID-19, patients are suffering from many complications after the treatment, including pulmonary and non-pulmonary complications. One of these non-pulmonary complications, a rare complication is avascular necrosis. Sing single nucleotide po polymorphism in various genes encodes for pro-inflammatory protein, which may affect biological activity and contrib contribute to hypercoagulability in COVID-19 patients, thereby increasing the risk of bone necrosis. The co combination of hypercoagulability, leukocyte aggregation, and vasculitis can impair the blood flow in the blood vessels of the bone and contribute to the development of bone necrosis. Hence, it is important to diagnose avian early to decrease the morbidity and requirement of the surgery. The main aim and objective of this study is to identify and early diagnose of avian of hip joint in post-COVID-19 patients presenting with hip pain. Material methods, this study was done in MJ Medical College, Aurangabad. The duration was 12 months. Sample size was 20 patients, including criteria PCR indicating COVID positive, positive COVID-19 infection and hip joint pain during the course of the disease. Exclusion criteria, prior injury to the affected hip joint, prior treatment with steroids and severe chronic illness like diabetes mellitus and hypertension were included. The study included a group of 20 patients who developed symptoms of joint dysfunction, which were classified as avascular necrosis in COVID-19 on MR images. Patient was screened with plain radiograph of the affected joint, MRI. Examination of the hip joint was done on the same day as, as plain radiograph. Informed consents were obtained from the patient. MRI was performed using a 1.5 Tesla Phillips Paradoxus uh, CX, established MRI criteria and staging systems were used for the diagnosis of avian. Pisett and Arlet classification system for MRI was used for staging avian of femoral head. Results. The mean interval between the onset of initial symptoms and MRI was two to four weeks. As per the Pisett and Arlet classification were seen of the cases, stage four avian was seen in zero cases, stage one avian, one avian was seen in nine cases, stage two avian was seen in eight cases, stage three avian was seen in three, uh, three cases. 45% uh, of the patients have uh, classified into stage 1, 40% into stage 2, uh, which, uh, which was seen mo uh, more in middle and elderly age group. Stage 3 was seen in 3 people. Their age, uh, they were, that was seen in elderly age group, which were more than 60 years old. Stage 4 AVS was not seen in any cases. This is because the cases were detected early due to the presentation of affected patients earlier. Gender-wise uh, gender distribution of the cases. Total 14 males and 6 females were taken. Uh, the symptoms included fever and hip pain. Uh, 10 of the male patients had fever and 9 of them uh, have hip pain. Uh, 4 females had fever and uh, joint, uh, 5 had hip pain. Comorbidities, diabetes mellitus, 5 male patients had diabetes and 3 had hypertension. 3 females had diabetes and 3 had hypertensive. So these are the Radiograph image, plain radiograph of right hip showing subtle irregularities. Uh, so here we can see there were certain uh, irregularities of right femoral head and marginal sclerosis of the femoral head and the acetabular rim. Uh, this is the acetabular rim. Uh, on the same day, MRI was done in which uh, uh, coronal, this is a coronal T21 section of the uh, MRI hip joint, which shows uh, subtle irregularities of the femoral head. Uh, coronal stir image was taken, which is showing hyperintensities in the right femoral head and neck extending into the intratrochanteric region and acetabulum, which is suggestive of marrow edema. The fourth figure suggests 
it's a coronal stir section image which shows minimal uh, here we can see minimal fluid collection uh, in the right hip joint plain radiograph and mri of the patients uh, this is the plain mri and the um, uh, plain radiograph and mri of the patient in which the uh, in which there is a uh, signal intensity changes in both femoral heads in the geographical pattern no collapse of the femoral heads and contiguity of the both hip joints maintained suggestive of fison and arlet stage 2 osteonecrosis of both femoral heads in cor coronal mri normal appearance of the femoral head uh, is seen in the a, a image there is normal appearance in uh, b image coronal mri stir image was taken uh, here we can say hyper intensities are seen which suggests bilateral uh, bilateral grade uh, bilateral stage 1 avian in third image coronal mri t1 weighted images bilateral stage 2 necro uh, stage 2 avian of the femoral head we can see osteonecrosis of the femoral heads in the fourth image, we can see uh, coronal MRI T1 weighted images in which there uh, we can see right stage 3 avian of the femoral head and left side we can see uh, stage 2. In this uh, whole study, avian is one of the known complications after steroid treatment of severe COVID-19 infections in long COVID-19 infections. We described 20 cases who suffered from avian shortly after a COVID-19 infection without prior steroid treatment. COVID-19 infections alone may aid as a risk factor for developing avian. On average, avian begins two to three weeks after COVID-19 its own cell. The mean age of the patient was 40 years and six women and four, 14 uh, men were included. The most commonly affected age group in the present study was more than 50 years of age. Clinical symptoms and signs of musculoskeletal system occurred 7 to 22 days after 7 to 22 days from infection onset and appeared 5 to 10 days after the resolution of acute respiratory symptoms and elevated body temperature. 11 out of 20 patients were initially treated conservatively, no steroidal and anti-inflammatory anti drugs, intra-articular steroid injections and therapeutic aspiration of the synovial fluid. 3 out of 20 patients required arthroplasty also. Conclusion In post-COVID-19 uh, post patients, there is a greater risk of uh, developing avian Mainly if the patient has been on steroids, steroids are a life-saving and for the treatment of COVID-19. However, if the avian is diagnosed early, progression of the disease can, uh, uh, can be controlled. Therefore, it is crucial to diagnose avian early in order to decrease the morbidity and requirement of the surgery. The most sensitive and invasive test to diagnose early avian hip joint is MRI of the both hip joints. Therefore, when post-COVID-19 patient present with hip pain, it is recommended that MRI should be advised to rule out avian hip. So these are the references. Thank you.